doing all the things I want to work on. All right, we'll start standing. We'll find some space between our feet, find our way into our mountain pose, close our eyes, soften our knees, engage our core muscles and breathe. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose or any way that feels good for you. Let the shoulders melt down from the ears. Let the jaw be. Letting go of your day, any stress of your day, let it melt right out your fingertips, out the soles of your feet and draw in some good energy. Breathing in, let's reach our arms up to the sky and touch our thumbs together and then bring our hands back towards the earth. Inhale, reaching, exhale, hands coming down. All on your own, just close your eyes if that feels nice. See if you can feel with your eyes closed, the air on your skin, on your arms. Notice that element. As your arms move through air. On our next one, we'll turn this into a flowing aeroplane, hinging and going halfway down, back up, breathing in. Flowing through all on your own. Each time we're reaching that head forward, our palms face me at the top, and then they face the floor at the bottom, keeping our chest open, making sure to bend our knees a little bit and lengthen through our spines. One more, we'll be turning this one into a flowing chair pose. We breathe in, reach up, breathe out, sit back, bend our knees, breathe in, sweep, Breathe out, sit back. If you're taking care of your knees, you'll wanna not go down too far. If you're taking care of your back, bring those hands to your hearts. Turning this into a full forward fold, hinge forward, sweep all the way back up. If your back feels good, add in a little back bend at the top. Each time we reach up for the sun, anchoring to the earth through both of our feet. We'll hold down and forward fold on an exhale. Let the head hang, let it be heavy. Just hanging out here. Our right hand towards the mat, more towards the center of our feet. And we'll reach our left arm up as we bend our right knee. So right hand down, right knee bends. And then the other side, bend the left knee, reach up. Forward fold, maybe do one more on each side. And then fold, halfway lift, flow. So we come halfway up and fold, exhale. A few more of those all on your own, coming halfway up and then folding again. And then bending the knees, let's take our left foot back, have a full high lunge, breathe into a lunge pose, our back foot high or our back heel high. Holding here, let's go up and down and warm up this front knee and quadricep. If you wanna challenge the balance, I do encourage you to close your eyes and go at your own pace. Last one, we'll bring our hands to our front knee, step back up, other foot goes back and we'll flow through our lunge. Our back heel is high if possible. We're checking in with that knee to make sure it doesn't go in or out. It's going towards the middle of that foot. Woo! Frame the front foot, let's step it back to downward facing dog or all fours as an option. Pedaling our feet in our downward dog. We're just moving our hips side to side on all fours. And then you'll all come down to all fours and do a figure eight with your hips. Left hip going back, coming back to center. Right hip going back and then coming to center. Should feel really wonderful for your hips as you reach back and around, create a circle, come back. 
Last one. Right into our cat and cow. Exhaling into cat, inhaling into cow. If you'd like to make it um, more challenging for your thighs, you'll bring your knees up off the mat and do your cat and cow in that way. Fists for wrists if you're taking care of the wrists today. Last one. Wonderful. Let's make our way to child's pose or downward dog. So you can push up to down dog or enjoy child's pose, whatever works. Inhaling, coming into a plank, full or kneeling. Exhale, we go right down to our bellies or halfway. Up dog or cobra, either to down dog or your belly with me, and then up and back to child's pose or down dog. Let's do it again. Inhale forward, choose your plank halfway down or all the way down, up dog or cobra, either belly or back to down dog, and we'll meet back in child's pose or down dog. And do that about three more times all on your own. So take your time choosing to flow into plank and down or choosing to rest in child's pose or even holding a plank pose. It's giving you an opportunity to move at your own pace and with your breath. One more, you'll meet in downward dog or child's pose. Take your time or all fours because we'll be doing another lunge, a kneeling lunge though. So once you come to all fours or down dog, we'll bring the right foot to the outside of your right hand. Shift forward and shift back. Forward and back. Toe goes down, toe can go up. Feel the stretch. It should feel really good after Wednesday's class. Last one on this side. And we'll switch to the other side. Left foot going to the outside of the hand. Shift it forward and back. You can have, again, maybe blocks under your hands if you wanted to. You can hold the pose instead of flowing. Last one. We'll keep our hips forward, tuck our back toes, and we're gonna step the op the left, pardon me, your right foot to the outside of your right hand and flowing through a few um, squats. Go up and down. You can bring your hands to your heart if you want to, going up and down. I think these can also be called um, Forget what they call them at the gyms, duck squats or something maybe? Frog squats, that's what it is, frog squats. Last one. Let's tick-tock those feet together, come back to a forward fold. Halfway up, breathe in, fold, breathe out. Sweep all the way up, inhale, all the way up. Exhale to chair pose, choose where you want those arms today. And if it feels nice for us, let's go into cactus arms. Open and close. Shoulder blades separate, chest opens. Quads feel the burn. <laughs> let's bring those hands to our knees and do a um, chair pose, cat and cow. Last one and sweep it up, my friends. Your legs should be nice and warm. So now it's time to move on to our sun salutations. Let's see what kind of song comes up on this playlist for us today. This is just acoustic chill. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> Come right on up to the top. Find some space between those feet. Now remember, if you don't wanna jump back, just step back. If you don't wanna chaturanga, then plank. Sweep up, breathe in, breathe out, dive into fold. Halfway up, breathe in. Now we hop, step or jump, back to plank or chaturanga, up dog or cobra. 
back to downward facing dog. So you can stay here or bring your right foot up between the hands. One lunge brings you up or you hold your downward dog. And then we go right back to chaturanga or plank. Hold your chaturanga or plank and, or move through that up dog or cobra. Meeting in downward dog or all fours, left foot between the hands. Rise up to your lunge. Back to down dog or child's pose or chaturanga. Hold or flow. Meet back and down dog. Looking up between your hands. Hop, step or jump up between them. Halfway lift. Fold, exhale. Let's go into chair, inhale. Exhale, rise up into mountain and we'll do it again. So if you wanna go faster than me, go right ahead. Inhale up, exhale, dive. Halfway lift, fold, breathe out. Hop, step or jump back to chaturanga or plank. Hold or flow. Meet back in child or downward dog, left foot between the hands, lunge. Take your time, rise up. Go back to downward dog or chaturanga or plank, up dog or cobra, back to down dog. You can hold there or bring your right foot up between the hands to find a lunge and breathe in or hold your down dog. Back to chaturanga or plank, up dog or cobra. Great job. Exhale, downward dog. Looking between the hands this time, let's do three hops. Keep the hips high. We want to float. We want to stay up as long as we can. Float, float. Halfway lift, breathe in. Whew. Fold, breathe out. Chair, breathe in. Exhale, rise up into a nice strong mountain. And again, sweep and dive. Halfway up. Fold, hop, step or jump back. Plank or chaturanga. Hold or flow, downward dog. Left foot between the hands, one lunge or hold. Back to chaturanga or plank. Up dog or cobra, downward dog. Right foot between the hands, one lunge, breathe in, rise up. Breathe out, chaturanga or plank or all fours. Hold or flow, almost there. Take your time, we'll all meet in downward dog. Three jumps, try to hang up in the air for a breath. Halfway lift, inhale, hold it, breathe it out, chair, breathe in. Exhale, come up, right on. Sun salutations are done. So if you want to make sure you've got a block, we'll do a moon salutation like we learned on Wednesday. That baby on, it can go even higher. Yeah, three levels of, of fan right there. And I'll bring the big one from home. I keep forgetting it is at home. Okay, at the top of your mat, then we'll be stepping your left foot back. So you'll be turning towards the windows. Left toes out. All right, doing a few moon flowers, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up. Last one, turn towards your right toe, lift your back heel, come into a lunge. Now pyramid pose, hands come to shins, we straighten out the leg, hips go back, you know, looking down at our, our front foot. You can stay in pyramid or move into balancing half moon. The hand comes on to, well, I'm going to use the block or you're balancing, opening up the hip. Stepping back to moon flower. Exhale. Let's do three. Keeping our chest proud and our core strong. Last one, holding down in moon flower, turning towards your left foot, lifting up into a lunge. Exhaling into pyramid, straightening out the leg. Inhaling into balancing half moon, opening up. 
Great job. Exhaling moonflower, just one moonflower. Turn towards the right foot, lift up into your lunge. Breathe out pyramid. Breathe in, balancing half moon. So we've got those four poses that we go between. One moonflower, we step back. One lunge, we turn towards the foot. Breathe out into a pyramid. Breathe in, balancing half moon. Thank you all. <laughs> back to one moonflower, one lunge, one pyramid, one balancing half moon. And you'll do in the next few rounds, just all on your own, those four poses. See if it feels okay to close your eyes, adjust any of them, take a rest whenever you want. One more. We'll meet in goddess pose. So nice and wide on our toes. The toes slightly out and we're hinging down our hips towards the mat. Reaching our chest up. Let's bring our hands in front of us if that feels okay. And then biceps by ears. Still check in with the knees so we don't want those knees to collapse in can stay where you are or hinge forward. Breathe, pressing into both of your feet, check in with your connection to the earth. And we'll rise back up, straighten out our legs. Wonderful. Tick-tock those feet together. Let's do a few rounds of warriors and then we'll go into our pigeon and maybe our crow. Right foot comes up to the top of your mat and your left foot is lunging back. So warrior one, chest towards that front knee, our arms up, our right knee is bent. Breathe. Seeing if we can keep our awareness here, not going away anywhere else, but in our own little yoga bubble. We're going right from warrior one to warrior three. Lift your back heel. Look at the front foot and come up into warrior three. Modifications, back foot on the mat, hands at heart. Stepping that left foot way back, moving, moving into warrior two. So now the hips open. Your right knee is bending up towards me and that left foot's anchoring down into the mat placing our palms to face down and maybe looking down our right hand as it tracks above the right foot. Warrior two. Right into side angle today, either elbow down or no elbow, both hands or elbow down or hand on a mat or block. Breathe. Make sure you can breathe. We'll rise back up, straighten out the right leg, moving into triangle pose, opening the palms. So the right toes pointing up towards the short edge of your mat. We'll reach long and hinge down. And so this is where you check in with how far your feet are apart. You can bring them closer if that feels better for your form. So imagine you've got a weight in that top hand. I want you to just try to push that weight up towards the ceiling using your top oblique. So your left oblique engages like you want to just lift up and down. Legs are stationary. We're just going up and down. I could bring some weights for this class. Yoga with weights is a good time. <laughs> and frame the front foot, lift the back heel, step it back to downward facing dog. 
holding here or moving into that forearm plank flow that we did this week. <laughs> we can, <laughs> so you can stay in down dog if that feels better for you or forearm plank, fuller kneeling. We'll take the left hand out into a kickstand. Keep our hips from opening. Back down to the forearm plank. Right hand goes out. The chest, hips are stable. Back in. So if you're on your knees, just lift one knee and then the other. If you're on your toes, right foot goes out, left foot goes out, right foot comes in, left foot comes in. Now we do it again. Whew. Right hand out. You can reach it further if you want to. Back in. Why isn't this getting easier, ladies? Back over to the other side. Now the feet out, out, in, in. Push it up to downward dog. Take your time. <sighs> we'll look up between the hands and we'll be bringing that left foot up between the hands. Warrior one, so the back heel goes down and we rise up, left knee bending into our warrior one. Soften through the shoulders, lengthen through the neck. From our warrior one, we're floating right up into warrior three. We'll lift our back heel and lift up or keep that foot down for balance and just transfer the weight onto your front foot. So you're taking care of your back, hands come to heart. And remember that hip is facing the floor, same with the right kneecap. Stepping the right foot way back, toes out to the long edge, right arm back. Left arm forward, warrior two now. Check in with the jaw, soften it, keep the core locked on nice and strong. Right into our side angle, feel free to put the elbow down and reach or reach both arms long. If you're working towards the reaching of both arms on, one thing to play around with is just unweighting your elbow off your leg every once in a while just to see the core hold catch you. Coming up into triangle, straightening out the front leg, opening it up. Holy tree, reach forward and hinge down into our triangle pose. Feeling the pose is what our goal is in this class, not what it looks like, what we think it should look like. Feeling sensations, mostly down the back of that front leg at the moment. And if you want to add in that little oblique work, we work towards kind of punching that top fist up into the sky. Oh, well, we could use bands for this too. Maybe I'll do that next week. All right, frame that front foot, lift the back heel, step it back to downward facing dog. Or you can hold or flow or hold all fours or child's pose. Looking up between the hands, time to try our, our crow pose for this week and then we'll do our one leg pigeon. So moving into a squat. Lots of options. You could even put a bolster underneath you if you don't want to use it for your face and have your squat like so. All right. And if you are doing crow, try to do your jump back today. Or if you're just working on crow, just work on crow. Try not to put my butt right in the camera. Okay. So we want to take the insides of our legs on the outsides of our arms. Just give them a good squeeze. That's all we need to do for just learning. When you're ready, you, you wanna make sure you look forward, squeeze, come onto the toes. And it's kind of a cat back because you're trying to almost lift up your tailbone as you come forward. And one of the keys is to look forward. We come up, take your time, we come up. And if you wanna try your jump back, you can start with one foot and then the other, and then you step it back. Okay, so if you lose your breath like I am, then you've lost your pose. All right, great job, everybody. Take a little break, come on up. Progress, not perfection. 
Let's come up, sweep up. Bring our hands to heart, flex our right foot. So here we're going into our pigeon pose. So you can move to the wall, like I'm gonna do. And we bend our left knee. We come into our pigeon. And then you can stay in pigeon, especially if your glute feels like it needs a little extra love today, or we do our arm balance in pigeon. We come down, try to wrap this foot around the back of your arm, walk it forward, look forward and lift up. When you're ready, come on back up. And then we'll switch sides. Oh, let's do the other side, flex. So the reason we keep that foot not just loose is to protect our knee ligaments. Bring it up and sit back. So this should feel really nice. If you're moving on to that one-legged pigeon, you might wanna move this leg up a little more. Hinge down, look forward. One foot might feel good, the other foot might not. And then walk it back all the way up. Okay, ladies, folks, let's make it down to the mat. Big breath. Great job today. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway up, breathe in. Hop, step, or jump back to plank or chaturanga. Breathe. Wonderful. So I'd love to take us into one more practice of an arm balance, and it's also a stretch. So there's a couple options. Going on to our backside. I may have introduced this just one other time before. So layer one is tortoise and that's here. This is tortoise. Or you can reach back and try to grab your backside. So that's a great stretch for your hips if you're gonna try to work on this one. The next layer would be putting your legs on this one like a backpack strap and bringing the other hand under and then your left foot goes on top. Yay, nay, no, no one's coming with me. <laughs> okay, a tortoise, okay. So your left, your, your right is up. Try to create a shelf. Just because what we're eventually trying to go into this. Left foot on top of right. I have long hair on my toe. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, or tortoise pose. Now we lean forward and try to kick our legs out to the side. <laughs> once we get, like, once you just get that little shift, it's easier than crow. I'm telling you, that pose is easier than crow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tortoises, come back out. All right, let's tuck that left foot in and take our right foot or right hand towards the right foot or the ankle. We'll keep our chest open. So our oblique is going towards the thigh and we're reaching up. Or just tuck your hand behind you. You don't have to reach. You could also create a little C shape reaching towards your big toes. Something doesn't feel good, pulling back, get a cramp in your hip or something that can happen here. Other side, this is a good stretch for our mid back. You wanna take care of your knee, you put a block underneath that knee. We reach towards the foot and you can hold onto the outside or the inside, reach long. <sighs> Breathe, listen to the body, don't let the mind wander away yet. You have the rest of the day to think of other things besides your breath. Just that active breathing, just being present in this wonderful body. Let's bring it back, draw the knees in, make sure you've got some space to roll back onto your backs. We'll rock side to side. So plenty of options for the next couple of poses. There's a restorative bridge 
That'll be the block going underneath your lower back as you lift up and hanging out in restorative bridge or regular bridge off the block, lifting our hips up, the shoulder blades down. A few other modifications you can make are to move up into a shoulder stand. So your hands would be coming underneath your lower back. You'd be lifting a foot up or two. Maybe if you don't break your wrists, <laughs> come on up. Or you enjoy your bridge pose. Or legs up a wall is a really nice one to do instead of that one. All right, lower it back down or stay wherever you wanna be. We'll open up our arms like wings, extend our right leg long, draw that left knee up to 90 and then all the way across the body for a spinal twist. Anchoring our shoulder blades back down on the mat. So good. All the way to the other side. So we want to try to get at least seven to 10 breaths on this twist at the end per side. And we'll drop back to neutral. Take a little rock side to side. No rush before we settle into our Shavasana. About a minute left to rest. I'll be quiet today. I'm going to put on um, a mantra. Just basically, well, sort of mantra. One of my favorite ones. There it is. All right, let the body melt down. Soften, let the muscles relax. 